It recently hit me that my local business website, and all my websites for that matter, are incredibly freaking slow. They're on HostGator and they're going pretty slow. And if you're at this video, I'm going to assume that you know about the benefits associated with having a fast website, how that improves your Google rankings, your conversions, etc. cetera. Uh, if you're not, I've got a whole nother video that I just recorded on that. So I set out to see what I could find out there in the hosting world. And I found a lot of reviews and a lot of research. And when it comes to cheap hosting on a shared package, there's a lot of people out there saying that A2 hosting is kind of the best and it ranks up there with even some of the ones that are WP managed and some of the more expensive platforms. So if we take a look at this by a gentleman named Tom Dupuy, I believe is his name. I, I think I've seen that last name on, uh, on YouTube, but his name is Tom and he runs this awesome website. I don't know Tom, I just found his website, watched some of his YouTube videos called Online Media Masters. And he has been testing some of the WordPress hosting solutions out there. And this chart right here shows the average time to load on his test site on all of these platforms using Pingdom. Now, when I said test site, and he disclaims it right here, that is the Astra starter site installed on each platform. Okay, so that's a really lightweight and generally pretty fast theme as it is. That is not reflective, in my opinion, of what I'm actually hosting here, where it's a pretty large bloated website. Uh, this one is done using Thrive themes and a lot of custom modifications, particularly on mobile, as you can see. You know, when we go mobile, you'll see down here at the bottom, and we've got these little click to call buttons. There's a lot of scripts. There's scripts on here replacing the phone numbers. There's scripts on here tracking the users. There's all kinds of stuff happening on this website. And this website actually for a local business website gets a pretty good amount of traffic. We're getting say 500, 500 on the low side to seven or 800 on the high side during our busy time of the year through this website. So it gets a lot of traffic um, and it's going kind of slow. So you guys are gonna see a video of it. I'm going to share an actual video of it. But first, let me just kind of go back to where his charts were, right? So we see A2 hosting gets up there, you know, in the milliseconds, but I wanted to compare this on my website, which is a lot heavier than this Astra starter site. So we're gonna look at this on Pingdom. You can see I've already got the tabs open. And uh, you know, then down here, he's measuring time to first bite. HostGator does notoriously bad here. Whereas A2 hosting on his test at 338 milliseconds, HostGator was at 1268. Um, server response times, I didn't really pay too much attention to that. And then GT metrics. We're gonna get into the pingdom, but first let me just kind of talk about the hosting platform that A2 is and the costs, the one I went with for testing. I just went with the cheapest one that they got here at 299, literally. Uh, this is cheap shared hosting. Uh, and this is just for one website. Now they have this Turbo Boost or even the Drive, which has unlimited websites, but I, I didn't want to go with any of those features. I wanted to make it kind of as fair of a fight between A2 and HostGator as I could. Now, if we come down, you'll see that somewhere down here, they mention optimized WordPress. Or is it? Ah, exclusive WordPress hosting, six times faster six times faster page loads with A2 optimized. That is what I used, right? So I'm not using any CDN or any caching with my live site on HostGator. So I didn't want to use that with A2. Now A2 has it and with their A2 hosting or with the what startup package, you don't get their light speed cache. I'm gonna do another test to see how much faster the light speed cache makes it. Where is that at? There it is. So you can see you don't get that light speed cache. I'm gonna do another test with it to see how it does. I'll upgrade my plan to this one right here, uh, which would be $9.99 a month and see how much faster it does. You do get CDN integrated with Cloudflare, which is not necessarily the best, but that's better than nothing. I did not set this up on my test site. So I am just using the pure WordPress install as it is installed through A2, uh, their A2 optimized WordPress install. And if we go into the actual cPanel, you can see it right here, uh, right there on under Ceph Softaculous, WordPress A2 optimized. That is what I used to actually install it. So uh, without boring you over more of the technical details, you know that I tried to do them as close to the same as I could. Uh, both of them are tested using the, not the root, but the base URL. 
and let's see, their ba base URL and they're using encryption SSL. So on that note, let me go ahead here and load up and play a mobile recording of these two both loading because that's what we all care about. 70% 70 70 of the traffic I see is on mobile and well, we want to see it. Um, we want to see how it does on mobile and we want that to be as fast as possible because desktop things load pretty easily on most desktops that are connected, but mobile is really where we see the big variation in page speed. So let me pull that up and load it now. Here we're going to load both of the sites side by side on a mobile device. Now my mobile device is an iPhone SE. Yes, an iPhone SE from 2014. Uh, I like it because it's nice and small and I'm a runner and it stays in my little short, short pockets really nice and easily. So SE test, right? I'm gonna test them side by side or I did test them side by side. We're gonna watch the video of it. And I edited the video to show, start from the closest frame from when I click on paste and go. That was the, the best way I found of doing it and getting an accurate time reading. Now you'll notice up here that it's got the little, if we can make it go away, we can't. It's got the Wi-Fi connection showing up there. But the test was not done on Wi-Fi. The test was done using my cellular data. And I think I had four bars of LTE. Let me see what I have right now. I have two bars of LTE at the moment. So it's LTE that's on there. It is not 3G. Um, and the reason why you see the Wi-Fi symbol there is because it was hot spotting to my computer. It was plugged into my computer to, to record this and to avoid pulling Wi-Fi data, I had to disable the Wi-Fi on my computer and just use the kind of hotspot connection to my phone, to my computer. So this was done with phone data. That's what I'm trying to make. On the left, we're gonna see A2. On the right, we are going to see HostGator. Uh, and I think that's really all I need to cover. So I'm gonna stop with the chit chat and click the play on this video. Three, two, one, go. Boom, there is A2. Hostgator still struggling, struggling along. When I first seen this, I was genuinely impressed with A2. Genuinely impressed is actually an understatement. I was freaking shocked actually at how much faster that went with A2 on just a basic install. Let's go again. I just I could watch this all day. Oh, I got a little ahead of myself. Let's let's restart here. I was trying to I was trying to pause it when it makes its first meaningful paint. Right, boom, right there. As a user, that's the first meaningful thing you're seeing. That's at two seconds. Waiting. Oh, it's still paused. Let's redo this. Here we go. Boom, right there. First meaningful paint on A2. Resume. First meaningful paint on HostGator. Like double the time, right? Freaking ridiculous. So you've seen the video. Let's look at the numbers on this. I'm going to pull these up. First thing I did was test it in Pingdom. I'm trying to drag it over from my other screen. It's not really behaving too well. There we go. So here we are in Pingdom. Pingdom tests every 30 minutes. Uh, you can see A2 on the website, 1.04 seconds. Pretty damn good. Pingdom. On HostGator, the current live site, 4.39 seconds. So by Pingdom's measurement, A2 is basically four times faster. Freaking crazy. Um, and then bite check, right? Time to first bite. Uh, Tom here discloses that and talks about the time to first bite. If you look up some research, you can see on Search Console that, or not Search Console, in some of Google's development tools, they recommend that your time to first bite is less than 200 milliseconds, and that's the time that it takes the server to respond with the first bite of information. A2, killing it, 33 milliseconds, and then HostGator, uh, somewhere way back in the back of the pack at 1893 milliseconds. And this is consistent. I actually ran this test a couple times because I was like, wow, this is freaking slow, right? Is this an error? No. And this is the base URL too. So it's not getting, you know, redirected around. Like if you just did HTTP dot dot slash slash and then Gulf Coast Aluminum, it would have to redirect to the www and then to the secure URL in some order, right? This is right to the base URL. And then finally, page speed insights. Now you'll notice here that there's a lot of, um, you know, kind of issues going on. And that's because we didn't do anything to optimize it. I am going to optimize further and see what we can get. But 
ultimately the bottom line is your server and your hosting is really the engine behind it. It's, it's like putting, if you're trying to speed up a website on a slow server, it's like putting lipstick on a pig or like souping up a Honda Civic, right? It, at, the, at the bottom, at the core, it's still shit, to be honest, no matter how you dress it up, right? So, uh, you know, so I didn't really focus on these just figured we'd test the server side by side and see what did better. And I mean, well, you guys seen the difference. A2, absolutely crushing it. First content full paint. That's what I was looking at there on the screen. I was kind of shocked to see this at 4.4 seconds. And then 4.9 here. So in Google Page Speed Insights, it really doesn't seem, you know, that wild, at least how they're portraying it, at least that, diff that different. But um, when you see the video, it really makes an impact to the user. And you can see the slides. Right, so it's not till the fifth slide, and I don't know what timing they're doing this on that we get anything. Um, here, you're getting something at the second slide. So you, it is pretty noticeable. Um, that said, you know, I, I am still going to go in and optimize these going forward on my website. So that is my test here on my live website. Or not live, I shouldn't say live. The test was still on a staging website. But, um, you know, with my heavy WordPress website compared to an Astra theme, testing it, a2 just absolutely kicks ass over HostGator. And you see the numbers. You see how much better it did there. It was, it was shockingly impressive. It marginal, or not marginally, but the, the margin of difference between a starter site and an actual heavy website is just kind of radically improved with A2 hosting. So I don't know how else to say it. I think you guys can already tell from the tone of my voice that I am incredibly happy with A2 hosting even on this cheap shared plan. So that's a wrap on this video, guys. Um, going forward, I'm gonna go ahead and set up. I'm gonna upgrade to this Turbo Boost and hopefully I can do that easily, you know, just through cPanel or through support. I don't have to migrate the website around because that website is big. It's like 10 gigs, maybe not 10 gigs, um, 10 gigs with all the backups that are stored. Anyways, that's another topic. It's a big website, pain in the ass to move around. I'm gonna upgrade here and try the Lightspeed turbo thing that a2 comes with and also the cdn and see what kind of improvements it makes if you guys like this video and you want more online marketing insights and e-business insights click the subscribe button like this video and of course look for my facebook group the no bullshit marketing facebook group guys i'm signing off on this one